perhaps a few remaining? So far, our fastest lap is a 142.3. As we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Ricardo, Raikkonen and Sebastian Vettel. It's now time to sit back and relax and enjoy the show. It's time for the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai. Shanghai International Circuit then, a 16-corner high-speed thrill ride. The long and ever-tightening right-hander at turns one and two tests a driver's patience. And the flat, open to the elements location, tests their skill in a crosswind. Two DRS zones will assist passing and overtaking is available into turn one. And of course, down the kilometer long back straight into the hairpin at turn 14. A tough race in store then for our drivers today. So tell me, Anthony Davidson, what will you be looking out for as the cars make their way down into turn one? Well, first of all, let's hope that everyone's well behaved and we can have a nice incident free start. That initial release is going to be the most interesting thing. And the clean side of the grid will be better rubbered in, so keep an eye out for cars over there potentially making their way through. 
So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Daniel Ricciardo starts from pole position today, and Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Hamilton, Max Verstappen, and Hülkenberg, Sainz, Bottas, Magnussen, and Fernando Alonso, Grosjean, Perez, Charles Leclerc, and Gasly, Ocon, Ericsson, Stoffel van Dorn, and Lance Stroll, Hartley, and Sergei Sorotkin rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you...
job. You've done everything we wanted today. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley after another excellent Grand Prix. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? That's got to be the flying fin. Wait, how many flying fins have we had now? Anyway, I'm talking about Bottas this time. Just great raw speed and a good job in traffic as well. That's it for today's Grand Prix and from Ant and I, it's goodbye and see you again next time.